Okay, so this is just a quick update on uh, my Boba Fett uh, helmet install. Um, some folks were um, asking about um, different things with regards to the amplifier. And um, in the original video that I did where I put the amplifier in, I just kind of had it in a uh, test phase where I had the speakers installed, but the, um, the mic itself was all together with the amp. Um, I've separated it out since then, and I've also installed fans. So this is what it looks like with the um, fan and the amp install. So both of those things are in previous videos. Um, the uh, building the amp for this and also building um, or, you know, for any mask um, and then the building a fan system, be it single fan or dual fan system um, for install. Um, just a rehash on the fan. Essentially, it's just what I, I put together as a kit as a... Um, and since I, I did a, a two fan install in here, but um, all I put together was a, um, a 3.7 to 5 volt converter. So it's a up converter or the, it's worded something like that and uh, a booster, a uh, voltage booster. Um, but um, so that's to take the LiPo battery power, which is 3.7 volts and um, up convert it to 5 volts for your respective fan. So that's what I'd recommend is a 5-volt fan. They come in all different kinds of voltages. Um, but in this this one here, I did a split off of um, where I could split into two. It's essentially the same two outputs on this board that are just split into two. Um, so depending on your, your amp draw on these, it may or may not affect the power output. But either way, it um, should be okay. Um, so this is, this is my um, battery input where I connect the battery and then I've also got a power line installed on the red line. So it's just an on off. And then, so that's basically what's inside. Um, since it was an earlier version, it's, it's done a little differently. It connects to this, but then it kind of spiders out differently and it splits in a different, in a different way. Um, but the same concept, um, this achieves the exact same thing. Um, so yeah, um, and all this stuff for the fan and off the amp are in a previous video. So for the inside, here's what we've got. So it it looks different than uh, how, during my last video because what what I did originally it looked a lot cooler and a lot cleaner in my in my first video because I I cut the holes and I sunk these in, um, but I wanted to try and do get more echo space, so I actually found thin pieces of plastic I moved it out and then I mounted them on top of it and I also cut a hole in that plastic to give more echo space so it gets it gets more um, base um, so it gets um, more resonance on these things but it does it does uh, have a look that I do need to clean up and I'm going to come back and paint it but this gives you a good idea of just um, how it is uh, so this again this this one was a um, just a regular small simple speaker and then this one is actually an exciter, so it actually does the vibrations onto the material. So it has a, rather than a full speaker, it's actually got adhesive that mounts to this plastic here. And then it shakes that plastic. Um, and then so it's got, you know, all that echo area inside there that you can see. Um, so I'll probably come back and clean that up with some paint later. But um, so I've, I've got these more permanently affixed. When I did this the first time, my amp, which is this, this is the amp and my mic were attached to each other basically for testing purposes um and the and the these speakers were installed in the original placement um but now i've since wrote, done some remote wiring and all i did was just basically add extensions um and then really what it comes down to is just kind of finding a convenient spot where it's not hitting your face um this is perfect because it's like right by my ear where i can turn on the power and turn up the power and turn it back down all without removing the helmet or having to look around also then so that's the fan or this is this this is the audio um audio volume switch right uh so then this here actually attaches to the fan which is the a new the newest install um what i originally did and which kind of worked but it just it's it wasn't the best practice and you'll see a, an empty wire here and i basically was stealing power from that I was feeding to this to this uh, amp board and running that to fans it worked but um, the fans ran a bit slower and it also produced a hum so it just it um, 
it put noise into the amp, which, uh, yeah, of course you don't want, you don't want just kind of a, a, just a general hum in the background. And so, and, and it was also 3.7 volts and the, these are five volt fans. So that didn't help either. So what I did was I made a separate power supply, which basically used this whole system here and have that installed separately. So it's got its own battery that feeds these two fans. So my fans I've got installed up at the top of the eyes and they just kind of blow across and upwards. Um, and it's, and it's fine. And they're actually not, not very loud. This is a different brand than this Winson that I got, which is supposed to be lower decibels, but I'd, I'd swear that even though these say that they're 29 decibels, they're, they're not, uh, they're not as loud as that 22 decibel Winson. Um, and maybe because it's splitting the power, maybe they're pulling more than the battery can provide and, uh, are trying to, and then, so maybe it powers them down some, um, but either way, I like the result. Um, but what those do is those come back. Let me let me pull these off. So I've Velcroed my battery in. I've I've uh, not, not sure if I can see. I'm getting kind of a reflection. <clears throat> if you can just see this, some of the extra wiring, I just kind of moved it around these pads and stuff. But so I've got my original battery that plugs into that, that feeds into the board, and uh, then of course goes to the speakers. So. Um, Velcro is that there, but uh, my new addition with the fan. So this is the wiring for the fan. And you see, I've got my battery. I've got them labeled, but um, yeah, now that it's kind of permanent and it's, the labels aren't as important. But so my switch for the fan and uh, goes up, feeds this battery and these fans. So now I'm going to put this back and I'm going to turn everything on. And I, th I think I already mentioned it, but yeah, this was the old power supply that powered the fan. So it's just kind of sitting rogue. Um, I may or may not find anything to use it again, but um, other than that, this this power actually go, comes out and goes and feeds the mic. And then, of course, these come and feed the two speakers. And then, so, uh, let me get this in a good placement. My uh, visor keeps popping down on this, so that's probably a little better. You can see the fans pretty well. Um, so, I'll just do those first. Just uh, turn that on. Nice convenient switch. You can see them spinning as fans should. <laughs> um, yeah, so that works out well. And uh, now just to turn the, this is the same kind of result as before. Uh, sorry, you're probably getting some of the noise from the background. But uh, anyway, um, so if I crank it all the way up, it will get feedback. And um, fortunately I've got the mic is mobile so I can adjust it to get out of feedback, right? Okay, so then I just kind of tamp this down and when I put it on, I'll just kind of find a good spot. And it normally stays pretty well because um, I found when it was fixed here, it just, it seemed to get some uh, bit of an echo. But uh, just a quick test. test so you can you can see this this is the smaller speaker here um and uh yeah it gets reasonable output but my better output comes from the other speaker which i'll switch around and that's the uh deeper deeper sounds that you're hearing through the speaker um maybe almost too deep uh so uh, maybe if I did this again on the same style helmet, I probably wouldn't uh, remote it out that much. Um, and I'd probably keep it in where it looked cleaner and didn't actually sound so bassy. But um, I've got a low voice, so it only, it only increases that. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's it. Um, just wanted to give the update, and uh, hopefully this helps some folks out. I know I was talking to some folks um, in the uh, chats or in the comments and um, maybe this uh, get, helps you all out and uh, gives you some ideas on how you can do yours. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it was good to do two speakers because it you know, gets more output, but the challenge is when it comes to the mic. Um, but then again, you know, uh, it's not like the mic is going to be over here to get away from the speaker. 
you always got to have it by your mouth. So you're always going to have that challenge. Um, but then, yeah, but yeah, just always adjust accordingly or, or manipulate this. You'll notice how it just gets better or worse depending on the, on the position. Um, and then, you know, work between your volumes, but hopefully that helps everybody out. If so, um, yeah, give, feel free to give a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, uh, do what you like. Uh, that's it for me. I'm out.